When you call 911, you presume you'll get help. But this isn't always the case, especially in today's calls. In two separate incidents, ill mothers die from a lack of response. Then, while callers hide from intruders, dispatchers make questionable decisions. And it's not all bad. A heartwarming baby delivery with the help of a fantastic operator. First up, multiple charges are laid against everyone involved after this frustrating call. Okay, now one was emergency. My mom, she's really bad. She's in, she hasn't been out of the bed in like three days. She, ever since she moved in with this guy out here, all she does is drink. She's turning yellow. The last time I saw her was like a week ago. She had lost like so much weight. There's like nothing left to her. And now my brother just said that she's laying in the bed like making noises. I don't know, but we need to get her to a hospital. Is she willing to go to the hospital? She will be because I'm on my way there, so she's going. Okay. So she's going to die. Okay, is this a police issue or because we can't force her to go in an ambulance? No, it's not a police issue. I'll get her to go in the ambulance. I would take her in my car, but I don't think I'd be able to get her in the car because she can't even move. Okay, I will get. We'll start an ambulance up there. Um, we really need to make sure she's willing to go first. Is there any way you can talk to your brother if he's there and ask her if she's willing to go? Because if she's not, like I said, they can't force her. She's gonna go. She's gotta go. Because if not, she's gonna die. How far are you away from the house? I'll be there in like ten minutes. Okay, how about calling us back to make sure she's willing to go before we send resources out there in case she says no? Okay. Okay, and then as long as she's willing to go, we'll get you in out there. In July 2020, the 911 operator ignored Kelly Tichinel's call for help. She said he told her that services would not be given to her mother because it would be a waste of resources. First responders weren't notified. No help ever came, and her mother died. We were begging for help. And for somebody to be on the other end of that phone and decide that he's God for that day, that is unacceptable. That day, Robbie Kronk told his sister that their 54-year-old mom was sick. He could not call 911 because there is no cell service at their home in Nineveh. Tichinel jumped in her car and called 911. Ten minutes later, she arrived at the house but also couldn't call back because of the lack of cell service. She and her brother could not physically transport their mother to the hospital on their own. The next day, Diana Kronk died from internal bleeding. Tichinel filed a lawsuit in a federal court, which named Greene County, along with the 911 operator who did not notify first responders about the medical emergency. It says the operator had no authority to deny services. Then, a groundbreaking charge was filed. The 911 operator, Leon Lee Price, has been charged with involuntary manslaughter, reckless endangerment, an official oppression and obstruction for the death of Diana Kronk. In June 2022, Price was arraigned and released on bail. Neither he nor his lawyer responded publicly to the allegations. A month later, the disgraced mayor of Waynesburg and two other 911 workers were also charged in the alleged cover-up. Mayor Gregory Leathers, Richard Polix, and Robert Jeffrey Rhodes were charged with tampering with public records, tampering with or fabricating evidence, and obstruction. All three men turned themselves into the authorities and were arraigned. Each made bond, which was set at $25,000. What do you think should happen in these trials? Should more dispatchers be held accountable? Let me know in the comments below. While I was researching this story, I came across another, equally as heartbreaking. I rang an hour ago for an ambulance. She was difficultly breathing, now she's, now she's dead. F dead. No one should have to witness what Akshay Patel did. Ambulance service for patient breathing. I can get an ambulance, please. Is the patient breathing? I am struggling. Okay, is the patient awake? Yeah. All right, just tell me exactly what's happened. Um, she's finding it difficult to breathe. All right, are you with her at the moment? Yeah. Just going to ask a few questions, but they're not delaying the help. How old is she? Uh, Mum, how old are you? 50? 56. 56. Okay. Is that her in the background speaking to you there? Yeah. Okay. All right. Does she have difficulty speaking between breaths? Yeah. 
Okay. Does she have any flu-like symptoms as well? Uh, do you have any flu-like symptoms? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And is she completely alert? Yeah. Okay. I'm organising help for you now. Just stay on the line and I'll tell you exactly what to do next. Okay. So we will get an ambulance out to you as soon as possible or as soon as we have an ambulance available. Okay. Um, we are very busy this morning, yeah. but we will be there with you as quick as we can. All right. Um, some of the wait times have been up to and around an hour, but we're planning to get there just as quick as we can do for okay. you. Ah, ambulance is it? I, uh, um, She's breathing. She's struggling now. Okay. Is I have called an ambulance. Is the patient awake? Yeah. Okay, tell me exactly. Sorry, say that again. Tell me exactly what's happened. Um, she's struggling to breathe. Okay. She's not dying. She's just. I think she's okay. To I'm organising help for you now. So stay on the line, and I'll tell you exactly what to do next. Okay. I'm dying. Hurry up. Okay, we're very busy and we aim to be with you as soon as possible or as okay. soon as we have an ambulance available. Currently, it's likely it could be over an hour and a half, but that's from your first call. Right. Okay. Is there anything okay. I can do in the meantime? In the meantime, yeah, just keep, re just keep reassuring her, okay? Ambulance service, is the patient breathing? Uh, kind of, yeah. I've already logged the call. Is the patient awake? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. So you've already called for an ambulance, is that right? Yeah. Oh, okay. The patient's, the patient's condition mouth got is worse. Going all white. Sorry? The patient's mouth's going all white. She's probably going to die. Okay. Just stay on the line with me, okay? Just tell me exactly what's happened. Sorry, say that again. Tell me exactly what's happened. Um, she's struggling to breathe. Okay. Thank you. Just getting this all updated, okay. So... I can see that some help has been arranged. You are just extremely busy, okay? You need to, you need no, to calm down. Keep, keep reassuring her, okay? She's she coming on the way. They're here in the air. Just concentrate on her breathing instead of shouting, okay? Yeah, like, just like, concentrate on your breathing. I told you. Deep breath. Okay. Deep breath. You can't stop worse. thinking about it. I'm going to need to re-triage her, okay? Yeah. All right, just stay on the line. Deep breath. do this, all right. You can do it. Stay a relax. Patient breathing? Uh, do, do you, no. Right, so I don't know that she's right, lost me, a lot of breath. Tell me exactly what's happening. She, we lost the call half an hour ago. She can't breathe. Uh, be there, relax, relax. She, just relax. Is that her screaming? She can't breathe at all. Is that her screaming? What, what's the address of the emergency? Listen to what I'm asking. Is that her screaming? Yeah. All right, so tell me exactly what's happened. She's not been able to breathe for the past uh, hour. Okay. She's and been you, struggling. Are you with her right now? Yeah. How old is she? 56. All right, okay. So I've put all that further information in. All yeah. right. Uh, I do need to hang up now that's taken another call. Is there any way that I can help her breathe in the meantime? Uh, no, uh, we just say watch her and uh, look for any changes, okay? Okay, all right. Thank all right, you. okay. Uh, if she gets, if she becomes less awake and vomits, quickly lay her on her side, and if she gets worse in any way, just call okay. us back immediately for further instructions. Okay. okay. All right, thank you. Bye. In January 2022, 56-year-old Bina Patel screamed, I'm going to die, while she waited an hour for an ambulance. Her son, 28-year-old Akshay Patel, called triple nine six times that day. Akshay shared a home with his mother in Ashton under Lynn, Lancashire. He said he realized she was unwell when she shouted for him at 2.15 a.m. The 28-year-old could tell Bina was having difficulty breathing. Eventually, it was too late. Ambulance service, is the patient breathing? No! Is the patient breathing? No! Okay, tell me exactly what happened. I rang an hour ago for an ambulance and she was difficultly breathing now she's now she's dead she's dead my mum's dead thank you for the ambulance appreciate it right okay just stay on the line okay recalling the events of that terrible night 
Akshay said he couldn't tell his mother about the incredibly long wait times. He tried to take her to the hospital himself, but Bina couldn't stand up or get downstairs. The panicked son could only stop his mother from falling over again. He said, The only way I can describe it is, imagine someone holding you underwater. There's not much you can do. Following later investigations, the 28-year-old doesn't believe that his first five calls were taken seriously by call handlers. It seemed as if it was only after the sixth call that an ambulance was dispatched, arriving five minutes later. When paramedics finally arrived at 3.27 a.m., almost an hour after Akshay's initial call, they tried to revive Bina, but their attempts sadly failed. She had first suffered from a blockage in her heart, which caused a stroke and then a heart attack. A horrific series of events that her son had to watch heart-wrenchingly. Akshay told the media he would hold those responsible for his mother's death accountable, but the outcome is unknown. When you're hiding in a closet, you'd hope the 911 dispatcher would understand the situation, but that's not always the case. In November 2011, a Colorado Springs woman hid in a closet when two men approached the house and tried to burglarize it. Colorado Springs, 911, this is Lori. What is the address of your emergency? Two men have just crossed my fence. They're trying to get in my house. Can you repeat that address for me? Is it an apartment or a house? House. Corner of the Corner. What's the phone number you're calling from? They're trying to your last name, please? They're trying to break the window. And your first name? They're coming to my house. Maggie. I understand. What's your first name? Maggie, you said? Males, M E D. Okay. There's two males, you said? Yes. One in the red jump suit, the other with the blue and white hoodie. And the one in the red jumpsuit, is he white, black, or Hispanic? Hello? Yes. They just broke, they just broke the class. Okay. The, the one in the red jumpsuit, is he white, black, or Hispanic? Black or Hispanic. In a red jumpsuit, okay. Okay. They're on their way. And the second one, was he white, black, or Hispanic? And Meg, we do have people, officers en route to your location, okay? You said they're now inside the house? We have officers on the way. I'm going to ask you a few quick questions. Answer the best that you can for me, okay? Are there any weapons involved or mentioned? Okay. That's fine. And do you have any further descriptions on them, Meg, from what you could tell? And are you or yourself in immediate danger? Are you able to get yourself to safety? Can you get yourself to safety? I'm in a closet. Okay. I'm going to stay on the phone with you, okay? Um, if you want, if you don't want to talk anymore, if you don't want them to hear me, I'm going to ask you some questions and just, you know, um, maybe tap on the phone once for yes and two for no, okay? Is there anybody else in the house with you, Meg? No. Is in okay, is anybody injured? <laughs> they run, they run. They ran? Oh, there's a cop. Is, they, they... is the policeman with you? They're running out the back pasture. They're running towards Falcon. The cops got them. The cops got them. They're running to the apartment complex across the street. The cops following them. The red suit guys run away from the cops, heading towards down, um, an academy. The cops run after the guy into the apartment complex. The red suit guy is still running past the apartment. Okay. Went into the apartment, uh, summon apartment. Okay. Are you okay? I am. The woman was fortunate, however, as the suspects fled as soon as they discovered her. A month later, a 17-year-old in Orange County found herself in a similar position. Nine one one. What is your emergency? Okay, I called before, and I already they came back. I, 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 I think I'm an American guy. I don't know what you're talking about, ma'am. What address is this at? Okay. They broke my my back. I'm sorry. Okay, door. you have to calm down, please. I don't understand what you're saying. What happened? Okay. Someone is trying to enter my house. They already did. Someone did what? 
they're entering my house right now. They're two. There's two guys trying to break into your house. house. Yes, they're two really young African American guys. They're seventeen, or like seventeen, between seventeen and twenty-four years old. And how are they trying to get in? They broke my back landing door. Broke the back slider? Landing doors in the back, in the patio. They broke the back door open? Yeah. yeah. How old are you? Oh, my God. 17. Please hurry up. Any weapons? Do you see any weapons? Are you hiding? Yes, I'm in my closet. You're where? In my closet. Please hurry up. Do you have any weapons? No. Are they still inside? Yes, they're like roving. I don't care if they're doing it. I'm sorry. They're what? They're stealing. I think they're confusing. Stay on the line. Let me have a dispatcher. Do not hang up. Stay on the line. I'm here. Okay. Do you know what they were wearing? Are you trying to be quiet or something? What do you know what they were wearing? I, I, okay. Okay. I didn't see the other one. One of them is wearing a white a, a black t shirt. A white or a black t shirt? Black t shirt. Do you know them? No. Have you ever seen them before? Never anymore. Okay, okay. They're trying to come in my room. Okay, shh, be quiet, be quiet, be quiet. Don't kill me. Oh, they left. They left on foot? What kind of car are they in? Do you see? Are they gone? No, they're in the in my driveway. Okay. What kind of car are they in? It's what? a Toyota. Harry. What color? What? Oh, my God. Are they... Are they backing out? Are they leaving? Yeah, they left. Two burglars entered a Florida home while the teen hid in an upstairs closet and dialed 911. The burglars left and later crashed when they ran through a red light. Some dispatchers deserve all the praise in the world for how they handled the cause. This is one of them. We want you and fire. What's your emergency? Oh, she's having the baby. Hello? 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 Hey, man, just see Kyle. She's having the baby. He said the head's coming up. Okay, I need somebody to talk to me. Okay, okay, I'm talking. Come over to the phone. I can barely hear you, man. You got to take me on speakerphone. Okay, I'm sorry. My it's okay. That's okay. I understand, but I got to get an address. I have my daughter in my hand. What's your address? Okay. All right, listen, I'm going to ask you a couple real quick questions, okay? How, how old is your wife? She's 25. 25? Okay, is she awake right now? Is she breathing? She's breathing. Yeah. All right, is the baby breathing? Yeah. If the baby is breathing. Okay, how's the mother? Is the mother breathing? She's fine. Okay. All right, hold on the line. Do not hang up, all right? I'm going to tell you exactly what to do in just a second. Just stay on the line with me. Okay? How many months pregnant was she? How many months pregnant was she? Is it a full-term baby? Eight months, so it is full-term. Okay, listen. The baby is breathing, correct? Yes. Okay, I want you to gently wipe off the baby's mouth and his nose. Dry the baby off with a clean towel, and then I want you to wrap the baby in a clean, dry towel. Okay? Do you got one of those? Yes. 
All right, cover the baby's head, but not its face. Okay. Okay, without pulling the cord tight, put the baby in the mother's arms or on her belly. All right, be sure the cord is not wrapped around the baby's neck. Yes, sir. All right, be sure to keep the baby and the, and the mother uh, warm, okay? Yes, sir. Okay, you got that? You got the towel? I'm grabbing it now. Okay, good. You're doing good. You're doing a good job. Okay, sir. You still there? How long ago did the baby come out? Just now? Yeah. Okay. Is it a boy or a girl, sir? It's a girl. Congratulations. Thank you. You got it wrapped up in the towel, sir? I'm wrapping her up now. Okay, just don't cover her face up, all right? Put it over her head, but not over her face. And I want you to put the baby back in back in mom's arms, okay? All right. You got to keep her warm, too. Get her a, a blanket or anything to cover up her legs and stuff, okay? Okay. All right, listen carefully, and I'm going to tell you what to do next, all right? Without pulling on the cord, okay, do you get, do you get like a piece of string, a, a shoelace, anything? Okay, I, I want you to tie a string tightly around the umbilical cord, about six inches from the baby. Okay, I don't want you to cut it though. Okay. Hello. Yes. Yeah, okay. Ma'am, are you there too? Yeah, I'm using some headphones now. I'm using some headphones now. Okay. Okay. Six, six inches from the baby, but I don't want you to cut it. Tell me when you got it tied. The paramedics and the fire department are both on their way. They're almost there, okay? Okay. Uh, how, uh, you got it tied? You got it tied? Uh, no. I'm not supposed to tie it tight. Tie it tight. Six inches off the baby. Tie it tight, but don't cut it. All right, now, I don't want you to pull on the cord, okay? The afterbirth is going to deliver soon, all right? Tell me if anything changes, all right? The afterbirth isn't out yet, is it? I don't know what that is, sir. Uh, you would know it if you saw it. Has anything else come out of her besides the baby? No, just the baby. Okay, it's just the baby? Okay, so the afterbirth isn't out yet, okay? But it, it's it's important for you to watch the baby and the mother. Make sure they're both all right, okay? I want you to use a blanket to keep the mother warm. If anything changes, I need you to tell me immediately, okay? Okay, I will. I'm good. Okay, do they need to get buzzed into your building? Yeah, no way. I hear the knock. Yeah, do they, have to, do they have to get buzzed in? Is there a certain number or anything they have to dial? Yeah, they have to uh, hit. Okay. All right, you're doing a good job, okay? Just take a, deep, take a deep breath for me. You're doing a good job, man. You really are. Great job. I got, I got your time of birth in here, okay? So they have it recorded. Okay? 6.37 a.m. Get yourself a Christmas baby. <laughs> She's moving. She's uh, good. Good. Just keep her, keep her with the mother, okay? And make sure you keep her warm as well. You okay, baby? You okay? Hey, you okay? You cold? What's wrong? You okay? Okay. Okay. The paramedics are there. They're gonna be coming up there shortly. Okay. Has the afterbirth come out yet? Uh, no. No. Okay. How you doing? You're doing okay? Okay. Take a take a deep breath for me. It's okay, all right? 
you did a really good job with a, with a really scary situation. Fire department's pulling up right now too, okay? Former New York Knicks player Iman Shumpert took on delivery room duties on December 16, 2015, when his fiancée went into labor in the couple's bathroom in Cleveland. Shumpert's fiancée, recording artist Tiana Taylor, posted a photo of the couple's daughter on social media after it happened, along with an explanation. She wrote, It took two 10-count pushes with my fiancée playing doctor and she entered this world into his bare hands eyes full of tears and barely able to speak to the emergency operator. Et Iman Shumpert tied a pair of red headphones around the umbilical cord and the ambulance made their grand entrance five minutes later. She opened her eyes right away, gazed into mine, and never cried. He handed her to me wrapped in our bath towel and wiped her face for me to see what love really is. Taylor wrote that the baby's birth was a surprise, as she didn't know she was in labor until she felt the baby's head. Healthy little Junie was born at 6.42 a.m. in their bathroom. For more True 911 calls, watch this episode next. You can also let me know which call was your favorite in the comments below.